Now, that's tempting, isn't it? Question. Hello, Clary. I think by week three, everybody realized that everyone down there, it's, the, the, I mean, beyond affected. Not just the coastline, not just the animals, but, you know, the people and the economy. And the, 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 the tragedy unfolding, everybody realizing this is going to go on and then have an effect for 20 years, was really starting to impact everybody. So I signed up on volunteer websites to see if I can go and lend my weekends because at the very least I'm down here and I want to go and help those birds and help people do whatever I can and wasn't getting anything back so I got in touch with um, a friend of mine, Matt Peterson, who works for Go Global Green because he'd been very uh, potent in, in the Katrina rebuild in, 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 uh, in, uh, in sustainable housing and, and steering people towards clean energy and so not depending on the governments, depending on ourselves as communities to figure out what we ourselves can do and so I went and spoke to him last weekend to to lend a hand to educate myself to find out how we ourselves can take responsibility because we all have oil on our hands and that's fundamentally the issue it's a supply and demand thing you know as much as everybody is outraged about BP not doing this or governments doing that I think that given that in 31 years nobody's figured this out I think that that's enough of a kind of a, a beacon that we can't depend on them and we have to look at our own addiction as it were to to oil and you know it seemed weird that I'm actually sitting down there in Louisiana discussing the addiction that, I, that my character has to blood and I'm thinking about this thing addiction and I'm like well I have my own addiction to oil I drive a car or whether it's not if you don't if you don't support local farms and where are your blueberries coming from in the supermarket that have traveled from Peru or the asparagus that's come from da -da 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 and the footprints that are left there and, and how much that's going to cost in 20 years time when we're running out of oil. And I think that people aren't quite realizing that this thing, this, this thing that we have really drained is not going to exist for too much longer. So we've got to come up with solutions. So the idea is to focus on the solutions. So we're working with communities down there to, um, uh, to inform them of which ways they can, they can best not rely on oil anymore. And um, it's as simple as growing your own crops, I know it sounds really primitive. People are going to have to have their own gardens. All around New York, people are growing their own gardens on top of roofs. Detroit, all those de derelict houses, they've all got vertical gardens. There's a reason. People, need, people are having to look after themselves, and it's good. I mean, it's a really awful way to have to learn, and it's a really awful thing that our planet has to be destroyed as a result of us actually realizing that we've been spoiled. We've just been spoiled. This thing called oil, where we can just write a check and pay for our, our bills, you know, conveniently has been at the cost of our planet, and it's time to like, back it up a bit, simplify.